Hello there, UPF fans. Your reigning champion, Don Pokemon, here. Uh, we've been making some changes, starting with a host. And uh, who better to host this show than your UPF champion himself? Me. And starting off, we have a message from Jerome Moonraker. Let's see what he has to say. can't believe it's come to this. I beat your boss, and he was a coward. Don ain't mean nothing. I still don't know who you are. I have your initials. It's VW. We'll figure out what's going on. I'll beat you. Find out who you are. I'll run wild all over you, boy. Let's see, VB Willen? Yeah, that seems about right. VB Willen, I'm coming to stomp you out. Let's do this. <laughs> What a cute little reaction from Jerome, was it? I believe you have some fallacies to correct. First of all, you lost that match. And I don't see how at all you'd be able to handle VB if you couldn't handle me. And uh, speaking of the great challenger that uh, my colleague is, Let's see how he fares against our self-proclaimed, but never quite got their champ, Mark Cameron. Welcome everybody to Mark Cameron versus VB Wilhain, where if he wins, Mark Cameron will be facing Don Pokemon for the UPF World Championship title. And joining me on commentary this evening is the UPF World Champion himself, Don Pokemon. Welcome, Don. Thank you for the warm introduction, Jay. Let's get this started, shall we? We're off to a very unique start today as Mark has introduced a Pokemon that not only have I never seen as a lead, I've never seen in battle, period. We have a Wishiwashi put it against BB's Metagross, which is another quite the opposite, a terrifying lead that I've seen many, many, many times. As Already a very wishy-washy performance from the self-proclaiming champ over here. Very disappointing and, to see Mark well, Cameron is still up to his old tricks. It's fair to switch yourself out and do some damage in when you think time is necessary. Well, Mark has already set up Mark a coil Cameron has gotten cocky on more than one occasion. I trust VB won't let me down. Let's let's hope so. Like I said, VB's voice is important that VB keeps uh, his relationship with you. Now, VB has gone for a move to put himself in advantage here by dynamaxing his rhythm. Definitely makes it a lot scarier for Sandaconda because that coverage now isn't going to stack up against something with double the health it once had. And the water type Max Geyser was a super effective one shot on Sandaconda, so the stacking up of attack and defense and accuracy from Coil no longer matters, unfortunately. All for naught. He has put in. And Amoongus. Now, VB has gone for Max Lightning, which, again, won't hit super effectively, but the Electric Terrain might help him against Amoongus for a very specific reason. I'm sure he has plans. And Mark has gone for Spore to put Rotom to sleep, which is definitely an unfortunate sight, as the Electric Terrain from Max Lightning usually prevents Pokemon from falling asleep. Unless, of course, they aren't touching the ground, which Rotom has. So the Levitate ability has worked against him a bit in this match. With that, a Giga Drain is definitely going to do major damage. And allow Moongus to replenish the health from the Max Lightning, even though it didn't do that much damage to begin with. Hmm, up to his usual tricks, it would seem. And luckily for VB, Rotom has been able to wake itself up from his sleep and get itself out of a disadvantaged state with Volt Switch. Now, oh, even though the Galarian Darmanitan cannot be put to sleep, it looks like Mark had a very solid read and was able to poison uh, the Darmanitan. And not well, it was fair to assume that either Vivi would switch in this scenario or wake up. 
And wow, more luck in Mark's favor as the icicle crash, which surely would have done an intense amount of damage from Darmanitson, has just completely missed. And Mark is able to get some free damage in himself with another Giga Drain. I'm not so sure if Mark will be able to stay in now because that was definitely some luck. I think Amoongus would have fainted if it was hit by Icicle Crash. Almost certainly. And right now Mark has uh, gotten a little scared, which definitely makes sense against something like Darmanitan and put in a uh, Lola Marowak instead, which will eat a resistant Icicle Crash and surely, oh my, surely receive more than half damage. Wow. It's kind of hard to remember how truly powerful Galarian Darmanitan is. I'm not sure if Mark can eat another one of those with any of his Pokemon without losing half. Running away again. Typical of Mark Cameron. It's another fair play, you know, water type will also resist ice and um, thanks to the Gorilla Tactics ability, which I now know for a fact Weeby has because um, his Darmanitz has dropped below half health. He has no choice but to stay in Ice School Crash, so it's up to Mark to decide who's going to get hit by it and who's not. Now, Wishy Washy's definitely survived and huh. VB choosing to keep Darmanitz in has caused it to faint due to the poison damage from Toxic. Now Mark is less threatened now in order to pick up the slack he's put back in his rotom predicting a volt switch here just to keep mark on his toes and mark has put in raichu which might be able to absorb the electric type move up oh, nope that is not the case it looks like mark's raichu actually has the static ability as opposed to the lightning rod ability which gives it a electric immunity well i trust now, that vb won't let me down here well i don't see him doing so as he's put in a guard shop to challenge raichu which Probably the easiest matchup you could think of against something like Raichu. Raichu is quick, but its defenses against a super effective ground type move are definitely not going to save it. We can't knock him out of the battle just yet. There's plenty of battle to have left. Now Mark has gone for a move that might put him in advantage now by Dynamaxing his Machamp, which actually is a G-Max Machamp. Uh, with the ability to raise its critical hit ratio with its uh, G-Max G-Strike. Now, I'm not sure what coverage he has against Garchomp, but if he has an Ice-type move, that would definitely get rid of Garchomp immediately. Now Garchomp has returned an Earthquake, and just mm. like that, well, Mark has shown himself to have an Ice move with Max Hailstorm. I'm just gonna easily get rid of Pokemon like Garchomp with a times four weakness. And it started to hail, which doesn't really seem to help either Challenger, but, you know, so still will increase the damage of another Max Hellstorm or whatever ice move that the Machamp has. A burn. Interesting. Yes, uh, Mark has burned his Machamp, which leads me to believe that Machamp has the Guts ability, which will raise his attack every time it's status. Oh, right away. That is a tough blow for Mark to deal as a critical hit from Dual Wing Beat with major damage. A super effective damage plus what is probably extra damage from the technician ability is way too much for Machamp to handle, and now it is fainted. An interesting tactic here is putting in a Moongus against Scyther, whose flying type will also hit super effectively. And being at full health, it is successfully able to survive both hits of dual wing beat. Uh, the Rocky Helmet it was wearing that I didn't notice before actually is able to damage Scyther just a little bit. And now Scyther has been put to sleep by Spore, so... <laughs> the, the tables are turning just a bit on Mark's side. Even though he's not in a great spot, it's not a spot I would want to be at the moment. It's a bit disappointing, but I wonder if he'll choose to run again. He has switched out into his Alolan Marowak to try to get the super effective damage against Scyther. If he goes for a fire type move here, Scyther will surely faint if VB decides to keep it in. Up oh, and there Scyther goes. The wise decision. He decided it's time for him to switch. Instead, he has put in his Wash Rotom, which is going to eat a f resisted fire type move, but still faint from the lack of health it had when it twitched in. Now Mark has secured another KO for himself. Now, with this Metagross, Metagross isn't the fastest Pokemon itself, but may or may not be able to outspeed the rest of Mark's team and finish them off now that they're all at low health. Now, Moongus has been switched back in, and thanks to the regenerate ability, it's able to get some health back. But how it fares against Machamp, I mean, Metagross, I apologize, it's definitely left to the imagination. And with the second follow up Earthquake, Moongus has fainted, and Mark only has two Pokemon remaining, again, the below half health. 
And once again, we see that the low speed has put Mark at a disadvantage, but Metagross is able to finish it off with another Earthquake. And finally, Wishiwashi is in to give Mark the last hope, but unfortunately it suffers the same fate as the last two Pokemon. And with the super effective Thunder Punch, Wishiwashi is no longer able to battle. And with that, Vivi has taken it. Just as sure. I predicted. All right, well, this has been Jay Caliber. I hope you all enjoyed the battle today, and we will see you in the next one. There's nothing really to say there that's as expected. Uh, moving on, some more interesting news for you fans out there. Let's take a look. Hello there, UPF fans, trainers. Your reigning champ, Don Pokemon, here speaking to you. A bit of an update. I did mention earlier that there were going to be some changes coming around very soon. The first of which I am here to announce today, the doubles championship for the UPF. Good luck to all involved. Don Pokemon signing off. Well now, there you have it. I hope that, uh... Be looking forward as I am to some interesting matches coming up with that new announcement. And I believe that after losing, Mark Cameron has something to say. So, obviously, I lost. And I'm not going to sit here and make excuses because, you know, I tried something new, it didn't work, and I paid the price for it. That's my own mistake. But you know what, VB? Yeah. I'm calling you by your real name this time. VB. I want to rematch right now. But... I want to do a doubles match. Not singles, not anything that, that's been done before in the UPF. We're going to do a doubles match right now. Unless you're too much of a coward. And Don, I hope you'll watch. Well, I'm glad to see that Mark Cameron is so eager to uh, jump headfirst at the uh, opportunity of a doubles match. It's just so unfortunate that he's just a complete glutton for punishment. We know how those will play out. And I believe, I believe my colleague has uh, some similar words for him as well. Unless you're too much of a coward. And Don, I hope you'll watch. I don't know how many times I have to teach you this lesson, Mark Cameron. You just can't beat me. And I'll nail that into your normie head as many times as it takes. Because there's no way I'm letting you anywhere near the boss's title. Yes, well, there's nothing really to be said about that. I... He echoed my words perfectly. It'll be beaten into his normie head, as he says. And... We have something else coming up. I'm not so sure what this might be. Let's take a look. You embarrassed me in my debut battle. I'll never forget it. I'm gonna make you pay. Once you're done embarrassing yourself, I'll be coming for you. I'm not exactly sure who that might be, or what that might be related to, but surely someone who can't show their face is not really worth worrying about at this moment. Moving on. Welcome to the UPF. I'm Denzel Mises, but you may call me Mr. Mises. Commentated on this match between Mark Cameron and VB Wilhank. 
but let's get started with this enigmatic battle between Mark Cameron versus Weeby Wuhan. Part two for all the marbles. We all know the significance of this battle. If Mark wins, he can finally fight Don Pokemon. Mr. Scenery with dual wing beat. It's a critical hit. It's a critical hit. Undoubtedly, that hurts Mark right now. Puts him in a pat. Oh, big chuckles with icicle cries. Little one shot. It one shot, Morley. What will Mark do? Mark sword stances with styles, no doubtly believing he can one shot whatever comes his way. But will that be a mistake? Only time may tell. Mark coming out with Milo Bellis. He's returning styles back to him. He's bringing out Raichu. Mr. Freire also did all the read. Mark read the read. Icicle Crash going into who? Ooh, Weeby might have just made a crucial mistake. That might come to hurry. Ice Beam on the... Will it? Will it? Oh, not enough. Not enough. Now what will Weeby do? Now the turtles have turned. Weeby returns his Scyther, bringing out Aubrey. Oh, no doubt we reading the Thunderbolt. He read the Thunderbolt. Great play by BB. Icicle Crass, going on who? The Raichu, ooh, great plays by BB. Definitely has been studying under Don for a very long, oh, the skull, will he get the bird? Will he get the, he gets the bird. Good job. Mark is still in this. BB still has a, a huge lead right now, but Mark has a huge advantage. Bringing in the champ. This must be his ace in the hole. One has to believe he will Dynamax, right? Oh! Drew back Aubrey. Brought it in, Butters! Butters the Battle Bro! See, he gets the read. Oof, I, oh, he is Dynamaxing! Oh, we getting big in here! Oh, is he Dynamaxing? Champ? Oh, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. Oh! How will VB counter this? Let's find out. Icicle Crash. And the champ just ate it like it was a snow cone. He's doing G-Max G-Strike. That's a big head. And it's the one shot. Oh. The champ is getting pumped. He knows what time it is. You know, it's break or make time. Ice Beam on the, on the butters. Now that's interesting. One would have thought that he would have went for the Scald, trying to get the burn. But maybe he's trying to play mind games with VB. Mr. Oh, he's bringing it back. Mr. Siri. Oh, he has the tech. Dual wing beat. Is it enough? It's enough. Oh, the disappointment. We all can feel it on Mark's. His ace in the hole. Taken down like a sack of potatoes. But how will he deal with Thunder Punch? He gave his butter Thunder Punch. Oh, he was ready for it all. Ice Beam, get out here. Ooh, Bark is in the corner right now. Now that we know Butters has Thunder Punch, how will he win this? Does he have what it takes? No doubt Don is watching this somewhere, laughing his ass off like the asshole he is. Bring in Styles. Right, will V be Dynamax? And just, no, he won't. Don't chop. Ooh, that animation. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then the Thunder Punch, as we predicted, Mark is in trouble because VB's team is both severely faster than his mons right now. Will we see a comeback? Is it possible? No doubt he doesn't want to lose again. I'm so anxious. VB is going to Dynamax? Are you sure you're not? <laughs> you will Dynamax? VB's looking like a villain right now. No. Not with Chadwick. Oh. He is definitely with the Max Hailstorm. The Pokemon is somewhere smirking. He must have taught him this evil tactic. 
It started to hail. It's over. VV won the rematch. Mark's hopes of going against Don Pokemon is for naught. It is over. Just wanted to take a quick pause here, UPF fans, to uh, point to our merch store over on uh, Teespring. We have many pieces you can get, such as shirts, hoodies, fanny packs, stickers, and designs such as this one. You can go over to teespring.com slash stores slash UPF. Make sure you dress yourself like a champion. Yeah, hey Don. I just uh, I just beat that loser Mark Cameron. Yeah, he's not gonna. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well. All right then.